All right, we're back on Coco Mode. Shauna Renee here with you. Uh, Pastor Jomo K. Johnson, who is the author of Call Tyrone, Why Black Women Should Remain Single or, a book due out in June, is my guest. Let's get into this idea that I mentioned before the break. The idea, and I've heard so many people say this, a large part of the reason why black women are single is because of their own behavior, because they do not allow black men to be or men to be men and you usually hear you know the brothers in one corner going amen and then you hear the sisters in the other corner going oh no he didn't so let's talk about that and 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 how that um how that's reflected in the book or how you discuss that in your book okay and i I love that question because that allows me to really Uh, address it from a biblical perspective. And what I seek to do in the book called Tyrone is I'm not giving you scripture after scripture after scripture, but I am seeking to apply biblical principles that I believe will be beneficial and very helpful when it comes to uh, singleness or relationships. So in relation to that question, there's a scripture in Corinthians 13, a very familiar passage. It says, uh, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I reasoned as a child, but when I became a man or grew up, I put away childish things. Well, in that same passage, it goes on to say that bad relationships corrupt good manners. Evil relationships corrupt good manners. And what has happened in that context is that many African-American women, they've been in very challenging or very difficult relationships with men. And also, African-American women who have children, they're having to play the role of both father and mother. So it's almost like masculinity, which is more so a male trait, is having to be exemplified in women. So therefore, it's really no surprise that when an African-American woman who has had to raise children, who's kind of be the protector, the defender of the household, when she begins to have interaction with maybe a new, a new male, that there's going to be some of that, I guess you would say, some of that masculinity come out. Now, what happens when this happens? As an African-American male, me personally, by understanding that this is probably a result of, you know, living uh, a single, as a single mom, living as a, having to be the protector, the defender, the father, the mother, what I want to do is make sure that I'm willing to spend enough time to make sure that this woman knows that I understand what she's been through or, or I want to understand uh, that I care for her. I know she probably has been through pain and hurt, and I want to be such an example to her that she's able to trust me as a leader and as the father figure in the household. So many men, when they encounter women for the first time, uh, they, 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 don't, they haven't spent enough quality time to be able to exude these leadership qualities, these, uh, these examples of, of malehood and masculinity in such a way where the woman is able to trust them. But if they were able to wait, be patient, spend enough time, then they would begin to see that kind of that, uh, that cloak come off. The woman would begin to exhibit a greater trust, and I believe that a, a great uh, relationship and a family relationship could be, uh, could be personified. Well, you know, and I really appreciate that because that's something that we don't hear a lot of, and that is people talking to men saying, be patient. Because most of what we hear, and I'm sure you've heard this too, is people saying to women, be patient. You know, I know he's not perfect now. I know he's struggling. I know he doesn't have it together. But if you just wait it out, just be patient with him. You know, put your needs and desires aside. I understand it, but it, it doesn't always sit well with me, which